Thank you to the organizers for inviting me. It's been spectacular so far, and I'm looking forward to the few days after my talk so I can explore Barcelona. So as Christian mentioned, um, I'm currently a neuroscientist, but I didn't start out this way. And I will give you a bit of an overview of my career, because I think it will help explain why and how I'm actually studying the questions that I'm interested in. The topic today will be about neural recording devices, and more specifically, the way as neuroscientists we go about trying to interpret the signals we get from these neural recording devices. A fundamental piece of the puzzle in interpreting the signals we get from the brain is to study a more accessible brain and to do it in controlled fashion, which allows us to make sense of the activity that we're monitoring. So there will be a fair number of movies of rats behaving in this talk, which might be a bit of change of pace from the other keynote lectures. But I hopefully you'll enjoy it. I do. So just a brief overview, sort of my life story. I started out my career in science as a radio astronomer. Largely, this entails sitting at a telescope late at night and telling the computer to just switch to the next scan. I had a lot of time, and as Christian mentioned, I largely found myself thinking about neuroscience, which motivated me to start a PhD in a neuroscience lab which studied these larval zebrafish. They're very, very small, um, but one of the spectacular features of these fish is that they're completely transparent, such that using imaging techniques, namely two-photon microscopy, you can get an image of, this is every single neuron in the brain, be a bit clunky. This is every single neuron in the brain of a larval zebrafish. You can see here the optic lobes, which are important and necessary for processing information. And the movie won't play to the end, but you can ultimately see the eyes. The reason we can see every neuron in this brain is that it's very small, as I will make the case uh, later in the talk. But it was a uh, this was my introduction to neuroscience. I was studying a model organism in which we had access to the activity and location and spatial information from every neuron in the brain. And the way we thought about studying how this brain processes information was based on this accessibility. However, the brain is very small of these larval fish, and I was motivated by the challenge of moving to more complex organisms with more complex behaviors and much larger brains. Part of the motivation for developing new neural recording devices was to get back to the accessibility that we have in the fish and bring that into these more complex mammalian organisms, which I ultimately now study um, in my own lab at the Champalimo Institute in Lisbon. I'll go through in detail some of the work from my postdoc and my current work at my lab, so you'll have a better introduction to that as we get through. <clears throat> 